right, guys, gals, and whatever you identify as, Dad Bot Actual back here with the Ronin Training with another gun drop on you. Those of you who were unfortunate enough to see our video of the Packy One Chip Challenge, we were cleaning our 308 carbine and we got a lot of messages on it saying, hey, you went over some of your other operational gear. Talk about the carbine. So today we are busting open the case to review our Wilson Combat WC-10 chambered in 308 and or 762. So let's get down to brass tacks and go over this bad boy. Wilson Combat is well known for their 1911 framed handguns, which are very pricey, very high quality, fantastic firearms. They've since transitioned over doing some crossovers with SIG with their P320 and their P365. Anything Wilson Combat touches is phenomenal. Their magazines for their 1911 platforms are absolutely top notch. So why should their rifle be any different? Again, this is the WC-10 chambered in 308 or 762, and it is built like an absolute tank this is all proprietary wilson combat uh pieces the upper and lower are wilson combat the propri proprietary m-lock handguard is wilson combat it is a 16 inch heavy emphasis on the heavy fluted barrel free floated into the receiver let me see if i can get into one of the shots here in our m-lock holes you can kind of see some of the fluting inside there underneath my wrap the fluting is done for heat expenditure and for lightweight to make it a little bit lighter fantastic barrels fantastic quality and workmanship and build it is a wilson combat two-stage trigger system which is flawless in my opinion they built an amazing 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 platform their bolt carrier group is solid and again you can chop down a tree with the thing it's built like a tank the, I did not do many modifications to this rifle. There's a few. I started out by modding the stock, the standard stock that it came with. I found was a little bit wobbly and I wasn't too happy with it. I wanted to keep this rifle as a carbine because of some of the courses that we run. I wanted my ability to shorten it, my ability to still use it in, a, for lack of a better term, somewhat of an assault mode if we had to enter a building and go up to the rooftop or to a uh, prefixed long range shooting point. I didn't want the fixed stock and the length on it. So I swapped it out for a Magpul MOE handguard. I believe it's a four position, adjustable, fantastic. If you can kind of peek in and catch the slope on the back end here of the butt pad, it slopes just slightly. So it's a perfect fit into the pocket of the shoulder. And again, we run mole skin on the top of the butt stock, which helps with that cheek weld, any sweat, any cami paint, anything like that. Keeps your cheek from sliding. So you keep your proper eye relief to the scope and your uh, spot weld, your cheek weld to the rifle. Uh, the pistol grip is of course, Wilson Combat and it is heavily textured. This one has the plug in the bottom that you can store extra rounds, batteries, cleaning equipment, what have you. Fantastic pistol grip. I love the angle, I love the texture. No issues on that at all. All the other operational parts are just like uh, a car, any other carbine. We're gonna swing up here to the front end. Again, if you know me, you know I love these Magpul bipods. I cut my teeth on Harris bipods, but being South Florida and it is hot, it is humid, those Harris bipods just kept rusting up on me and it was constant extra cleaning and scraping after every range session. So since I swapped out to the Magpul, they're lighter, they're faster to deploy, and I just like them all around. I suggest them, some people don't, but that's my cup of tea. Up here at the tippity tippity tip, I swapped out the muzzle brake on the Wilson Combat. I found it had uh, more it could do, their standard issue. This one happens to be an Area 419 three chamber Hellfire muzzle brake, and the name is definitely good. This thing is a beast. It takes the recoil of running full house 168 open tip match and 175 grain uh, Black Hills and turns it into a soft push, not a punch, almost a push to the shoulder. It is a phenomenally soft shooting rifle with this muzzle brake. The only issue is anyone to the left or the right in the prone or out on the range next to me instantly becomes my worst enemy because the muzzle blast on this is significant. It is loud and it blows stuff off tables. It's kind of funny, but it makes the rifle very, very, very manageable. We will be swapping this out soon for a dead air brake 
to fit our Nomad L suppressor, if you've seen it in some of our other videos. In fact, there's our suppressor cover right here. I highly recommend anybody who is going to get into suppressors, or if you have a suppressor, this one happens to be Armageddon gear. Yeah, Armageddon gear. And uh, these things are phenomenal. This is their seven inch model. They come in three, four, five, six, seven, and 10 inches. And they will fit your suppressor. You can tighten them down with a bungee cord and a snap link. Inside is a heat resistant material, almost like the old school asbestos, but without the delicious cancer. These guys help tr tremendously with the heat dissipation as far as Mirage goes. They are not rated for full auto fire and they actually don't do too well on rapid fire, but on a scope rifle or if you're slow firing on your rifle or your carbine, they're phenomenal. It also helps with positional shooting and transitions. Uh, if you've ever done one of our uh, DMR rifle courses or designated marksman rifle courses, you know, shots are hardly taken in the prone. We do a lot of shooting and moving, a lot of un unconventional positions and we do a lot of transitions to handgun and when you're 30 40 rounds deep your suppressor is hot and you're swinging that thing around you're slinging it onto your back to climb a ladder or you're transitioning from your rifle to your handgun that hot suppressor is dropping down and you don't want to burn holes in your fancy schmancy cry pants and stuff like that so i highly suggest a suppressor sheath or suppressor cover they are definitely worth it Let's move up to the eyeballs, the glass on this beast. We went middle of the road with Vortex Optics. This is their Viper PST, four to 16 power by 50, and it has their EBR TAC-1 ranging reticle inside. This happens to be an illuminated model. Let's zoom in right here, that little dial right on the inside has 15 illumination levels and two infrared IR uh, levels for if you're going to run a snap-on IR. It has a adjustable throw on top for moving from 4 to 16 power. I set a outside attachable bubble level, which helps me keep my rifle level and not canted, especially when I'm moving and in uh, silly positions. The reticle and the turrets are both mid, uh, minute of angle, MOA, as opposed to mil, milli radians. A lot of folks don't realize sometimes you can get turrets that are MOA and a reticle that is mill. That requires a conversion, especially when you're ranging and stuff like that. It's just an extra step that I don't enjoy taking. I like to make my reticle and my turrets match, whether it's MOA, whether it's mill mill. I like to make a match. The adjustments are quarter MOA for every click. This is a first focal plane scope, which happens to be my preferred. Uh, it allows you to do ranging at any power within the optic as opposed to a second focal plane where you've got to do your ranging on its max power. Uh, again, I said middle of the road. Vortex Optics make fantastic scopes, binos, and spotting scopes for the money. You absolutely can't beat them. They're built truck tough. They are manufactured in the Philippines with U.S. design parts and uh, shipped back here. This has been a phenomenal optic for me, uh, for what we use this rifle for. This rifle we usually use more in a uh, designated marksman type role, especially in our classes. I've stretched her out to 500 yards with ease, no problem at all. The turrets are tactilely, that's a big word, tactilely sound. You can feel and hear each click. The light absorption from the optic, letting in light, meaning clarity is great. The glass is great. For the money, you absolutely cannot beat Vortex, especially with their high-end line, their razors. We are in the process here at the Ronin Training are working our way up to something solid like a Night Force or maybe a uh, Loophole Mark VI. Once we get up into that area, we'll do a whole nother review and take her back out and stretch her, stretch her legs out. Oh, I'd say at least past a thousand. The scope's been fantastic for solid first round hits at 500 yards, and we've been able to spot and range out to 700 so so far so good on the optics again watch for more videos coming up when we swap them out and we go to the next level but so far highly recommend vortex optics especially for the price they're fantastic check them out you'll dig them now the rifle package did come with a single mag this is a lancer battle mag this thing again like the rifle is built like an absolute tank but they are pricey and they're difficult to acquire so thankfully we've done our work in the past with dod and we've got access to surplus mags these are dura mags i believe 20 round 308 
these guys are let's see what we got here ah we've got the m118 long range the m118 lr these are 168 grain open tip match good 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 round for the 308 this is the stuff we run we only run 168 or 175 through this big bad boy so we can be guaranteed on our accuracy our velocity and uh it's got a great bullet uh, excuse me ballistic coefficient for running this rifle blue force as always blue force makes phenomenal slings retard easy to use highly durable and they're absolutely fantastic this one is in uh, the cool navy's version of the aor1 with the uh, quick detach sling swivels we will be doing a video again later once we swap out our muzzle brake for our dead air with our suppressor and when we switch out our optics we're going to get this puppy out there on the range and we're going to try to stretch her out to a thousand yards plus to see how we can get uh, our hits on that so don't forget to smash the like button subscribe tell your friends tell your mother tell your pets we'd love to have you guys and we keep putting out more content this one came from all of you leaving comments on the last video that we did so hit us up if you got ideas if you want to see something let us know we're going to get more videos from the range shortly and once again check us out at www.theronintraining.com and we will see you out on the range.